Hello everyone, my name's Dimitri and for the past three weeks my life was not so good. I was not keeping up with my daily routines, I had bad habits, I was watching social media, I was going to sleep late, so I decided why not to start 50 days challenge. Many people talk about this on YouTube and I think it will be a good opportunity for me to improve my life physically and mentally. Plus. I'll have summer holidays in five days, which means six weeks of productive work with no school destruction. So I think we should begin. So see you tomorrow. By the way, I forgot to tell you another thing. So let's talk about the rules of this challenge. So the rules are waking up before 8 a.m., read 10 pages a day minimum, working out at least one hour a day, no junk food or alcohol or anything, Learn new skill at least one hour a day, having good morning routines, track your daily progress in journal, so you can write for example how your day was or how you were feeling. So yeah, now we can definitely start. Pretty simple, but I guess that's enough. So I woke up approximately at 5.30 and now I'll read the book called The Chim Paradox by Prof. Steve Peters. A really nice book about how your mind works. I definitely recommend it to read for anyone. And usually when I read I also put notes into this book because then easier for me to understand everything and to remember what I actually read. So. I'll read for an hour and then I'll plan my day and that's it, my morning routine is finished. Well, I've read 10 pages and I wrote some notes and now I'll plan my day. So I usually use this notebook, for example, you can see my previous attempts. I also have a habit tracker which looks like this and it helps me to keep up with my daily goals because it gives you a visual contact of what you have to accomplish every day. I took this idea from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. Now it's time for gym. So I finished my workout, I was doing pull day and I was working out my biceps and my lats. It was quite alright, tomorrow I'll have push day, I'll work out my shoulders, why not chest and triceps at the same time, well because I was working out them yesterday, because I split the push day into two days, because it then takes less time. By the way, what type of workout do you use? Write down in the comments, I'd love to see. And maybe even recommend me what type of workout I should use. Anyways, let's carry on. So, every day I have to learn a new skill for at least an hour. So I decided to choose English because English is not my first language. And I really need to have this language because I live in England right now. And I think it'll be really useful to improve my English. And the nice part about recording these videos is that I will improve my English because I will talk and this is my weakest part is expressing my thoughts and talking and I hope by the end of this challenge my speaking abilities will improve so that's quite interesting the last video that I will post about this challenge I will have better ability to talk and the quality of videos will be much better overall that's quite interesting it's 117 right now, so I was learning English for about an hour and a half, and half of this time I was trying to find the way to learn English, and I didn't really 
find best way to learn English, but I think I'll just look at the topics and then I will learn this topic by watching YouTube videos and then practice on some random websites. So tomorrow I'll find the better way to learn English, I hope. And I also took a practice test to find out what English level I have. And you know what? It said B1, I mean, that's not good. I thought it would be B2, but anyways, my goal by the end of this challenge, 50 days challenge, is to get to level B2, at least, minimum. Okay, that's it. This is the end of day one. It was pretty good, and I didn't have such morning routine for a long time, and I feel happy that I started this challenge. So yeah, that's it. See you on day two. Bye.